Father, we thank you every Sunday, every time you get us together from our family, from our work, get together here, you have your special work. You have your special plan for us. I ask you to use this short time with us. Thank you, Lord. Pray in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Uh, 各位早安. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm very happy to be here today. And a lot of old friends I haven't seen for a while. Uh, is there someone who's just now seen me for the first time ever? Oh, well, it's good that we've seen everybody. So I don't need to introduce myself. And uh, our church from this year, uh, we've been looking at the book of Romans. And I have to admit that the book of Romans is a book that is uh, hard to explain. And we know that from chapter 9 to 11, even though me as a pastor, even when I read it, I sometimes I get dizzy. Because Paul was talking specifically to the Jewish people back then. And if you have no understanding of the Jewish people or the Old Testament, you would get confused when you read Romans. And today we're entering into chapter 11. And this is a, a pinnacle of what Paul is talking about in Romans. Even though it's hard to understand, but in terms of Christian theology, it is very, very important. And the content is, there's a lot of content. I was going to use English, but... I'm afraid that if I use English, you won't understand what I'm saying. So I'll be translating. And let's look at this one word. And in the Bible, it talks about the word mystery. And so why did Paul mention this word mystery? And so I've summarized it, and Paul says in Romans 11, 25, I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery, brothers and sisters, until the full number of the Gentiles has come in, and in this way all Israel will be saved. What did Paul mean? Paul said, at the end of time, one thing will be revealed, one secret will be revealed. That once the gospel has been preached to all the world, when all the Gentiles have a chance to hear the gospel, all of Israel will be saved. And when Paul said this, he got very excited. And he was so excited that he started singing about this. And so we're going to focus on the word mystery or, or secret. So what is mystery? So a mystery, when, when you first hear it, you don't quite understand what it means, but when someone explains it, you have a better understanding. And last week I went to a bookstore. And I haven't been there for a while. And after I bought the book, I saw something. And I saw something that I liked, so I, I took it. And I saw this, I was like, what is this? It even lights up. Oh, it's, it's a light for camping. Oh, you, you just pop it up. Okay. And so you just put this lamp out and under the sun for about four hours. 
and it will light up for the whole night for about four hours. Wow, I mean, Amazing. for the whole night. Can I try it? Oh. And I, I thought, wow, this is pretty amazing. I'm going to try this. I'm very happy. I'm going to buy it. And if I buy one of this, one of these things, I, I don't have to ever buy batteries again. But I went back home. I just researched for a while. This, this secret is where? And and I was trying to find the secret to how this thing works. Every day, five lights. It can use twelve lights. And this is very bright. You just have to charge it under the sun for about five hours, and you can use it for twelve hours. I just have to charge it under the sun for about five hours, and you can use it for twelve hours. I just have to charge it under the sun for about five hours, and you can use it for twelve hours. I just have to charge it under the sun for about five hours. And so I'm going to invite、uh, Deacon Edwin because you know he he he's solar power guy. Okay. <laughs> uh, can, can you tell me what 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 is this? So, so the, sometimes some people tell, say that the the solar like a cell, except that solar need to be charged by battery, not by electricity, right?、Uh, so so solar, you can see that there's a there's a Uh, chips. Actually, this is a one big、uh, semiconductor chips that can generate electricity from irradiant. We call irradiant basically sunlight. So, so this is a, a battery. This is another form of battery, basically. Oh, oh, can can you tell me is that really? I don't need to buy the battery forever. <laughs> I I think.、Uh, The the technology is improving. I hope one day we we don't need to buy battery. <laughs> but but but、uh, you need to. That's why you need to put the these kind of cells in a to- rooftop in a place that you can re- directly receive sunlight. Okay.、Right? So you cannot put this one in, under your bed and expect that it、okay. will last three or four hours. Okay. Thank you. Give him a big hand. <laughs> Thank you, Edwin. Oh, the secret is this. The secret is here. Because there's a mini miniature solar panel on top of this thing. So it can generate electricity. 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 我我我几个月以前，我跟 K C 跑去墨西哥。A few months ago, we went together to Mexico. 我跑去一个那个童工的家。And I went to a coworker's house. 那个童工家哦，没有水，没有电哎。And that person's house didn't have electricity or light or water. 各位，没有电哎。No electricity. 他住在山上是没有水，没有电。He lives on a little hill that has no electricity. 我我还问他说，那请问你们，你你为什么没？你们为什么没有电？ And and so he asked the coworker, "How come you guys don't have electricity?" He says, "Actually, it's not no electricity. We have electricity from a very distant place, and it's very expensive." He says, "Well, there is, but you have to get a cable from far, far away, and it's very pricey." That I'm actually not rich, and I cannot afford it. I said, "Well, what if you have to go to the bathroom at night?" He said, "Well, what if you have to go to the bathroom at night?" He said, "Well, what if you have to go to the bathroom at night?" He said, "Well, what if you have to go to the bathroom at night?" He said, "Well, what if you have to go to the bathroom at night?" He said, "Actually, it's very bright at night." I think. 我回来以后，我就一直为这个事情祷告。And so I kept praying after I came back. 所以那老板娘问我说：“哎，你要胡牧师，你要买这个，你要买，你需要露营啊。” So Pastor Hu, why are you buying this? Are you going camping? 我说不不不不不，我我打算去墨西哥送给我们一个童工。I said no, I bought this so I can give it to that coworker in Mexico. 因为他们那边没有水，没有电。Because they don't have electricity or water. 我说，胡牧师，我有一个感动，我这个要送给你。And so that person said, "Well, I want to give this to you." 哇，他说，因为你是要去做 mission， because you want to use this for mission， 这才是真正的奥秘啊！居然不要钱啊！<笑> so that's the real mystery that I can get this for free。各各位各位，你知道我的意思吗 ？Do you know what I mean？ 我们人生当中有一些事情 ，There's some things in life， 你是不明白的 ，that you cannot understand。像刚才讲的这个，你你如果没有没有去看过，你根本不知道为什么它可以亮十二个钟头。So if you don't know what this is made of， you don't know why it can、uh, light light up for twelve hours。哦，原来它里面的设计你就知道。Oh, because of the solar design. 那为什么可以亮十二个钟头？等一下你要去问启文，我没有这个 knowledge. So if you want more technical details, please ask Edwin. 但但它就是有。But it has that ability. 保罗他说他写罗马书写到这里，他发现一个最大最重要的奥秘。And when Paul wrote chapter eleven, he says, "I fig 
I found the greatest mystery. 就是有一天神的福音要遍传全世界。Is that the gospel will spread all throughout the earth? 然后全世界最顽固的人，像我保罗这样的人，这样的人有一天也会因为看到神的旨意，他也会信主。And at the end of time, the most stubborn people in the world, like me, the Jews, will all come to the Lord. 像我这么顽固的人是绝对不可能改变的，我都可以改变，世界上每一个人都可以改变。Because I'm the Paul talking. I'm the most stubborn person in the world, and if I can change, then all the Jews can be changed. That's a mystery. And that's God's miraculous plan. In the Bible, every book in the Bible talks about God's mystery. From the Bible, we know that Noah built the ark, and the heavens were filled with stars. From the book of Genesis, from the creation of the world. To Noah, everything is a mystery. I don't know if you've read the Book of Job. Talking about the Book of Job, the Book of Job has a line that's very famous. He says, "God made everything very mysterious." Please, uh, can you help me read that? And Job in the Old Testament said this: "Oh, how I wish that God would speak, that He would open His mouth and speak." And Job in the Old Testament said this: "Oh, how I wish that God would speak, that He would open His lips against you and disclose to you the secrets of wisdom." He in this place also said that if God had not revealed Himself to us, we would not be able to know the secrets of wisdom. Job says, "If God does not reveal Himself to us, we are not able to understand His mysteries." In the Old Testament, the mentioned the word "secret" is the most famous person, the person called Daniel. And in the Old Testament, the person that mentions this word "mystery" the most is the prophet Daniel. Some people say that Daniel is the secret of the Old Testament. And some people say that Daniel in the Old Testament is is equivalent to the Book of Revelation. We know that in the Book of Revelation, there was a king. 看到但以理讲出那个预言，他心里很震撼，他就告诉但以理说：“我突然知道了，你知道的奥秘一定不是来自你，是来自一个万王之王、万主之主。”他这么说的，我们请 K C 帮我们念一下。And so there was a king in the time of Daniel. He he said to Daniel, "Surely your God is the God of gods and the Lord of kings and a revealer of mysteries, for you were able to reveal this mystery." 这个地方，尼布贾尼撒王那个王。借着他的句话告诉世人，你所信的神是万王之王、万主之主，在他有最奇妙的奥秘在他那里。And it was because Daniel solved the dream of King Nebuchadnezzar, and because of that, Nebuchadnezzar proclaimed to to his whole kingdom that there is no god like Daniel's god. 你说啊，你在说什么？你回去好好的仔细读但以理书。So if you don't know what I'm talking about, please go back and read the book of Daniel. 还记得吗？这四个 teenager 在被火烧的时候，突然有一个人出现在他们中间。And、uh, when, when, when、uh, the 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 three teenagers when they were tossed into the furnace, all of a sudden there was a fourth person in the furnace. 而且大显荣光，这就是奥秘。And a great glory. 我认为这是 great glory. 整个旧约最神秘的一个地方。And I think this story is probably the most mis- mysterious event of the Bible. Jesus in the fire in the furnace appeared because Jesus appeared in a fiery furnace. If you know the Old Testament, you know that these things I won't talk about because if I talk about them today, I'll never finish. Okay, and there's also the statues, but it's too much. In Daniel, it's talked about a lot of very mysterious things. In the Book of Daniel, it's full of mystery. Oh, what is it? Okay, that's enough. 你讲清楚，到底奥秘是什么 ？And so, what is mystery? 简单的一个最简单的解释，奥秘呢，就是，好，帮我念一下。Okay, so mystery <laughs> is something that is difficult or impossible to understand or explain. 人家不告诉你，你绝对会不会知道说这个盒子怎么会亮十二个钟头 ？So if someone doesn't tell you, you wouldn't be able to figure out why this device would light up for twelve hours. 当他告诉你，解释给你，把那个电路板弄给你，再实验给你看，哎，你就相信了。But if the person explains it to you, shows you the circuit board, then you would understand. You say, "In the world, who has a god? When someone explains, tells you, you can understand. So a person might say, "Well, there is no god." But if a person can explain, show him, demonstrate that there is a god, then they would believe. We know that the first five books of the Bible were written by Moses. This passage, many people don't pay attention to it. When Moses wrote the Bible, chapter 29, verse 29, he wrote the Bible. 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 And a lot of people don't realize、um, Deuteronomy twenty nine twenty nine. It says the secret things belong to the Lord our God, but the things revealed belong to us and to our children forever, 
that we may follow all the words of this law. In other words, all the secrets and mysteries belong to the Lord. But he will reveal certain secrets and mysteries to his beloved children. And that was Moses' conclusion when he wrote Deuteronomy. And Daniel 2.19 it says, During the night the mystery was revealed to Daniel in a vision. Then Daniel praised the God of heaven. What is mystery? Based on our own logic, we cannot understand it. The source of that mystery is the Lord of Lord and King of Kings. So when the time is is right, God will reveal those mysteries to his people. And so the Bible, the scripture itself, is a mystery. And so when Jesus came, he said, Jesus replied, Because the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven has been given to you, but not to them. Jesus did many miracles to reveal the mystery of God in the New Testament. And also in the book of Revelation, it is full of mysteries. But in the days when the seventh angel is about to sound his trumpet, the mystery of God will be accomplished. Just as he announced to his servant, the prophet. And so, in the, Re- in the book of Revelation, it talks about the judgments and the angels blowing the trumpets from the first to the seventh trumpet. And at the end of the, the trumpet sound, judgment will come. And so, why is it after the seventh trumpet? Because seven is a perfect number, is a number of, of fulfillment. And so if, you, if you're interested in that, you can read Revelation. But my point is that from the book of Genesis all the way to Revelation, God is revealing his mysteries. And and so when we come to Romans chapter 11, Paul is wrapping this, this mystery of God. He's giving a conclusion. And in the New Testament, Paul was the one that mentioned the mystery of God the most. And so let's uh, summarize a few. First mystery, Colossians 1.27. To them God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this, of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Let me paraphrase that. That the mystery of God is revealed in the lives of Gentiles. So that these Gentiles can also be in Christ. And that these Gentiles can, can express the glory of God. Brothers and sisters, are we Gentiles? If you don't think you're a Gentile, please raise your hand. We are all Gentiles. And in the eyes of the Jews, all of us, none of us deserve salvation. But God has chosen us as Gentiles so that we can be in Christ. 
so that our lives can be transformed. And that we can live out His glory. That is a great mystery. Ephesians 3, 5-6 Which was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed by the Spirit of God's holy apostles and prophets. This mystery is that through the gospel the Gentiles are heirs together with Israel, members together of one body, and share together in the promise in Christ Jesus. Let me paraphrase that. That the mystery is not just for the Jews, and also for the Gentiles. So that both Gentiles and the Jews can become more and more like Christ. And so because both of them are becoming more like Christ, they can come and become one new man. And so that we are together in one body, we're exactly the same, no more pain, no more suffering. So when we are one body, we are like we are like blood brothers, blood sisters. And so that mystery is accomplished through the work of the Holy Spirit. Okay, and so in Romans 11, it talks about the olive tree. And so he, he, he gives the example of an olive tree. Okay, pretend that this is an olive tree. It represents Israel. And so uh, the olive tree is very precious in, in the time of Israel. And so Israel is the olive tree. And so there, there, there are roots. Represents the traditions and the law of the Jews. And in the time of Paul, there's a lot of branches which represent the Jewish people. And so these branches kind of grew far away from the roots. And so these branches were cut off. But right by this olive tree is a wild olive tree. And so the wild olive tree saw, wow, that's a nice olive tree. I'm going to come closer and I'm going to be grafted onto their branch. And so when their branches connected, the nutrients from this original olive tree start going to the wild olive tree. And so this wild olive tree was, was probably weak and undeserving, but now it's receiving the nutrients from this original tree. Now this tree looks exactly like this tree. Because their lives are now connected. And so this connection is what Paul has meant when he said, we are in Christ. And so, no matter if you're a Gentile or a Jew, the most important thing is to stay connected to the, to the root or the vine. So if you live apart from this, this root or vine, then you will eventually die. No matter how successful you are, if you step away from the vine, you are dead. And uh, that wild olive tree, if you're willing, you come to the original olive tree, you, you connect to it, you graft into it. And so, 
连在这个树树树树枝上面。I don't know if any of you uh have ever grafted the plants together. It has to be connected at at a very intimate level. 那本来这棵树不太好，因为它这个根一直生命一直流，它就变成一个很棒的树，这样。And so because of the nutrients, this wild olive tree becomes uh it, it flourishes as well. 所以它提醒我们两件事情。So Paul reminds us of two things. 在主里很久的人一点都不要骄傲。If you have known the Lord for a long time, do not be prideful. 如果你离开神太久，有一天你会断掉。Because if、uh, if you are away from the vine for too long, you will be broken off. 相对的，任何人，任何人，只要你有一个愿意的心。And anybody, absolutely anyone, if you just have a willing heart, 你来跟主耶稣连接。You connect to the life of Jesus Christ. 跟这个这个好的这个橄榄树连接。Connect to this. Good olive tree, your life will flourish. Then, then your life would flourish. Then, then this tree connected people, don't be jealous of others. And if you are grafted, if you are connected to this tree, don't look down upon those who are not. Because this is a special grace of God. This is a gift. Because this is a grace of God. This is a gift. This is a grace of This is a grace of God. This is a gift. 不论是犹太人，然后那个犹太人，他看看，哇，他们生命都变成这么好。哎呀，我主啊，我悔改啊，我也要来跟主连接。And so one day at the end of time, the Jews will see, oh man, the Gentiles they're getting all the good stuff. And they'll be jealous. They'll come back. 你离开神，不论多远、多远、多远，你做了多坏的事情，有一天你悔改了。And so no matter how far you have gone from the Lord, one day you will repent and come back to the Lord. 当你悔改以后，你回到主的面前。And when you repent, you come back to the Lord. You get on. You get connected to Him. Your life will flourish once again. One day, God will make you holy and your life will flourish once again. One day, God will make you holy and your life will flourish once again. One day, God will make you holy and your life will flourish once again. One day, God will make you holy and your life will flourish once again. One day, God will make you holy and your life will flourish once again. One day, God will make you holy and your life will flourish once again. One day, God will make you holy and your life will flourish once again. One day, God will make you holy and your life will flourish once again. And and they will come together as one. You, 以前多叛逆，以前多坏，只要你悔改，都可以回到神的面前。And no matter how much you you have rejected God, no matter how much you rebel, just come back to God. 为什么样？这就是奥秘。And He will receive you once again, and that is a mystery. 所以，所以当保罗他写写写到这里的时候，他最后太感动了。And so as Paul is writing, he got very touched. 他就在罗马书第十一章的三十三到三十六节，他就写了一首很有名的诗。And so he wrote this amazing poem. 因为这首诗太出名了，我要请大家一起来念。And so I'm going to ask everyone to read it with me. 我们要想象保罗在念这个时候啊，心里充满了敬畏，也充满了感恩。And so when Paul wrote this, his heart was filled with awe. 好，我们一起来念，慢慢念，请。Let's read. Oh, the depth of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable his judgments and his path beyond tracing out! Who has known the mind of the Lord, or who has been his counselor? Who has ever given to God that God should repay him? For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be the glory for ever. Amen. This passage is a very famous passage. This 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 is a very famous passage. And theologically, it's the pinnacle of Paul's theology. You 如果不了解这个重要，你就读不懂为什么十二章他马上讲说，所以弟兄们，你应该要怎么样？因为他有看到一个这么壮丽、这么重要的神学在里面。And if you we don't understand this this pinnacle of theology, we won't understand what Paul is talking about. We won't understand、uh, chapter twelve. 我相信从过两个礼拜以后 ，KC 回来以后，他会开始一系列讲基督徒应该怎么不断的改变。And so, a couple in a couple weeks, I'll be preaching from chapter twelve and on, and we'll be talking about how a Christian should live. 既然我们知道我们的上帝是这样，我们应该怎么做 ？So we will find out. Oh, because our God is this mysterious God, and He's revealed things to us. Therefore, we ought to live in a certain way. 所以我们全教会会从八月、九月、十月、十一月、十二月，将近四个月的时间，不断的讲，我们怎么样靠着这个橄榄树的力量来活出神的荣耀来。And so, from August to December of this year, we will be talking about from the Book of Romans how do we live from this olive tree. 最后一行，最后一行哈，我们再念一次，把最后一行再念一次，请。Let's read the last uh 
verse again. For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. 在中文的圣经里面，他把它翻，把它翻成说：“因为我们的上帝是这样子，所以我们知道我们是本于他，依靠他，归于他，归荣耀给他。” And in the Chinese, it also says something similar. 他有几个这个文哦，在英文文法，我认为写的比较好。Everything in this world, everything. Peter, wow, Amy, Casey, everybody here. 我们所有的人都是 from him. And in the English translation, he thinks it's a bit more clear that everything you, me, and everything that you see is from him. You have what kind of grace? You have what kind of ability? You have what kind of wisdom? You have what kind of brain? You can read what kind of book. Everything is from him. And so, no matter how talented you are, what kind of gifts you have, everything that you have, your brain, your talent, it is all from him. You in this life, what you need to do, what you need to complete, it is all through him. And all the things that you want to accomplish in your life, it has to be through Him. Your life's purpose, the end goal, is all for Him. And for all the the end result, it's all for Him. For Him. And for all the the end result, whatever purpose, whatever reason that you're doing what you're doing right now, it has to be for Him. When one day we complete all these things, when we leave this world, we need to return to His life, return to His presence. This is called to Him. And once we finish what we have done, 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 Finish what we have set out to do on earth. So today, I'm talking about you. Don't forget it. We will go to him. These four words, these four words, you have to remember. These four words, you have to remember. And you can forget everything that I've said today, but you have to remember these four words. This is the mystery of the Holy Spirit. Because this last verse represents the mystery of Christ. I'll read it again. You have to remember it. Wait a second. You will know. Everything is from him, through him, for him, and what? To him, this is God's army, and that is the mystery of God. We, all together, let's read. The first one is him, from him, through him, for him, to him. You can go home now. So you can go home now. This is God's most precious army. That is the mystery of God. We all know the big bang. We know the theory of the big bang. And you, you guys all know the theory of the big bang. But 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 the theory of the big bang. Boom, boom, pa. And so scientists believe that the Big Bang went like that. Then it will fly, 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 We're still expanding. 答对了，这个科学家果然厉害。我们现在是 boom， 啪，但是快结束了，快结束了 ，almost， almost， 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 almost。然后一结束到那个点会怎么样 ？To him. And so it's still expanding, but at the end of time, everything will come back together to him, like God in the center. 有一天回来，就回来了。这就是神的奥秘，也是神的宇宙的计划。And that is the mystery of God, and that is the design of the universe. 所讲的新天新地就要开始了。And when that happens, the new heavens and the new earth will begin. 弟兄姐妹，这段神学是非常重要的。Brothers and sisters, this part of God of theology is very important. 我们如果每一个人都不知道我们从何而来。If we don't know where we came from, we don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning all these educations. We don't know why we're learning And so God gave you all a great family, gave you great education, great kids, great car, great house. But what's after that? Everything from Him, through Him, for Him. One day, we'll go back to Him. This is the mystery of God. That is the mystery of God. Also, Paul's prayer. 
And that is the prayer of Paul. And so this verse is too important. Too important. So from today, Paul so said, "Again, to remind us, God for us as individuals, He is a what kind of God? And so, in conclusion, what is Paul saying? What is God like? He is a creator. He is our creator. Your life, all of you, your appearance, your personality, your weaknesses, all of them are God's creation. All of them are God's creation. Everything that you have, the good, the bad, everything was created by God. Everything from Him. Second. 在你一生，你要不断的往前走，是神会供应你，他会丰丰富富的供应你的。And second, God is the provider. As you journey through life, anything and everything that you need, He will provide. 你想做什么，完成什么，你向他求，他会把属天的智慧给你。他是万王之王，万主之主，他有能力，一定可以给你。你就你就可以突破了。And whatever goals that you have in life, if you just ask Him, He has the resources to give you the wisdom and the knowledge. To accomplish what you want to do in your life. I know. I know. After this summer, after some of us are going to start to go to your school building, some of us are going to start to go to your new school, some of us are going to start to meet new friends. You have to face new challenges. You have to raise your grade. In July, it starts. Some of them have already started. In future, all your needs, God will provide. And I know that at the end of summer time, some of you are getting promoted to new mission fields. Some of you are getting promoted to new colleges. Some of you are getting promoted to new mission fields. Some of you are getting promoted to new colleges. Or making new friends. Don't forget that God is your provider. When you encounter many difficulties, many pains, 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 many What you ought to do? He is the supreme king, the king of kings, and lord of lords. He knows everything. 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 He And so maybe you want to change some things in your life. Maybe you're addicted to video games and you play until three in the morning. And you say, "God, change me, save me." So I have a personality that's not good. I know that I'm not good, but I can't change it. Or maybe you have a personality that that you don't like, a character that you don't like, and you say, "God, change me, save me." Only God can do that. 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 Only the blood of Jesus can cleanse us of all of our sin. Because one day, everything that we do, we have to face God. And He will give us a fair judgment. And so at the great judgment, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> 保罗他把他一生最大的秘密告诉了我们。And so Paul told us the greatest mystery of his life. 今天主对你说了什么 ？What did God tell you today? 神今天对你说了什么 ？Did God speak to you today? 你知道他是你的拯救者吗 ？Do you know that he's your savior? 你知道他是真正能帮助你的人吗 ？Do you know that only he can help you? 你知道你是从他所造的吗 ？Do you know that you came from him? 有一天，我们所做一切的好事、恶事，都要在他的面前接受他的审判。And everything that we have done in this life, whether it's good or bad, one day we have to face the judgment of God. 保罗把启示录的秘密告诉了我们。And Paul told us the mystery of revelation. 也把整本圣经的最重要的神学告诉了我们。And Paul told us the the most important things about the Bible. 神对你说了什么 ？What did God tell you? 这个是我很喜欢的一个，啊，德国的哲学家叫做康德了哈。This is one of my favorite uh German philosophers named uh Immanuel Kant. 有人说，如果英国要选一个最聪明的人，那叫莎士比亚；德国要选一个最聪明的人，这个叫康德。And so this he's a brilliant guy. 我我读了很多他的书，但是大部分都读不懂啊。I read a lot of his books, but most of them I don't understand. 但是他对他的人生，他有三句话一直放在我心里面。Uh, but there are three quotes in his life that have impacted me. 第一个
First, he asks, "What can I know?" 我对上帝，我到底真正了解了多少 ？Regarding God, what can I know? 我对这本圣经，我到底知道了，真正知道了多少 ？Regarding the Bible, what can I really understand and know? 对于一个我不知道的奥秘，我到底了解多少 ？How much can I understand something that I don't know about? 当我知道以后，我应该要做什么？ But if I find out and if I know the mystery, then the second question is, what ought I to do? 我念了很好的大学，念了很好学校，找了很大的工作，那嫁一个丈夫就这样吗 ？And so I went to a good college, got a good job, got married to a good spouse. Is that it? 我从小是一个基督徒，我读了一辈子的圣经，每个礼拜去做礼拜，就这样吗 ？You know, I I grew up in a Christian home. I read the Bible many times. Is that it? I know this much. So what ought I to do? 第三，我做这一些，我最后的盼望是什么 ？Number three, after I do all these things, what may I hope? 这三句话哈，今天就送给各位。And so these three questions I want to give to you. 我相信，经过这个暑假，你生命会有很多的改变。And I know that after the summer, a lot of things are going to change in your life. 经过很多伤心痛苦的事情，当你静下心来的时候，你要跟神讲这三句话。And maybe there's a lot of pain and sadness in your life, but after after everything calms down, this is what you have to answer to God for. 这是康德问我的，我也借着康德的话跟各位分享。Emmanuel can ask me these these three questions, and I want to ask you in return these three questions. 我们来一起来念第一个问题，好吗？第一，请。Let Let's read the number one question together again. Go. What can I know? Second. What ought I to do? Three. What may I hope? 我们信息即将结束。And so I finish my message. 你今天知道了什么 ？What do you know now? 你觉得，你回去，你可以做什么 ？And so, from this message, what can you do from this message? 你期望，你将来如何 ？What do you hope your future to be like? 我们起来祷告。Let's pray. 主耶稣，谢谢你。Lord Jesus, we thank you. 这是一个奇妙的早上。This is an amazing morning. 你的话语何等的奇妙。And that your word is a mystery. 我奉主的名祝福今天听进他话语的人。And so I bless everyone that has a year to hear. Let them know that it is you who are speaking, who is speaking to them. That God has that mystery revealed to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that reveals mystery to us. That it is the Lord that That we would have a new beginning, and that we would revere you more. We want to be more dependent on you, and that we would trust you and depend on you. We want to be more dependent on you, and that we would trust you and depend on you. We want to be more dependent on you, and that we would trust you and depend on you. We want to be more dependent on you, and that we would trust you and depend on you. We want to be more dependent on you, and that we would trust you and depend on you. We want to be more dependent on you, and that we would trust you and depend on you. We want to be more dependent on you, and that we would trust you and depend on you. We want to be more dependent on you, and that we would trust you and depend on you. We want to be more dependent on you, and that we would trust you and depend on you. We want to be more dependent on you, and that we would trust you and depend on you. We want to be more dependent on you, and that we would trust you and depend on you. We want to be more dependent on you, and that we would trust you and depend on you. We want to be more dependent on you, and that we would trust you and depend on you. We want to be more dependent on you, and that we would trust you and depend on you. Service for this morning. So let let us rise, and may the blessing of the Father and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the presence of the Holy Spirit be with us all. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So say hi to one another before you you leave, and、uh, have a great day.